Introduction to Monitoring System Interfaces and Protocols In this section, we introduce basic interfaces and protocols. These two words are not synonymous. First, what is an interface? It is a connection mode between two hardware devices, but protocols are a group of conventions that both communicating parties must observe. We can think of the interface as being for hardware and the protocols as being for software. Here's an example. A mouse and USB drive both use USB ports. These devices must comply with USB specifications before they can be used over USB ports. Common interface types include DB9, RJ45, and cord and terminal. DB9 is the serial port of 9 pins. The LAN interface is RJ45. A cord and terminal is an accessory for electrical connection which is divided into connectors in industry. Then we can see some transmission modes, such as RS-232, RS-485, RS-422, and FE. Among them, RS-232, RS-485, and RS-422 belong to serial transmission. FE is the transmission of network. Next, we see some protocols. For example, SNMP, Modbus, and Telecom Protocol. Devices access a system based on different protocols. Then, we will introduce protocols in detail. First, Modbus. This, this protocol uses master-slave mode and supports loads of RS-232, RS-485, and RS-422. The Modbus protocol has three categories. Modbus RTU, Modbus ASC, and Modbus TCP. They have different application scenarios. The Modbus protocol has some advantages. For example, it is standard and open. It can support multiple electrical interfaces. And the frame format is simple and easy to use. But it also has some disadvantages. The master-slave mode is inefficient, and transmission is slow. Then, we look at SNMP. It is a network management protocol with three versions of varying security level. SNMP conforms with the OSI model and is widely used, but it has some disadvantages. If the number of devices is large, the data querying is inefficient and processing is complex. Finally, let's look at Telecom Protocol. Like Modbus, it uses master-slave mode and supports loads of RS-232, RS-485, and RS-422. It supports it's multiple interfaces, but the format is complex, and the protocol is not universal. Next, we will compare common tr transmission modes and interfaces. First, we can see RS-232 uses serial transmission mode. Here, we mainly focus on the distance and rate of the trans transmission mode. The transmission distance of RS-232 is 15 meters and transmission rate is 
20K. Obtaining tools for this transmission mode is easy. However, the distance is limited, networking is unavailable, and the transmission mode is susceptible to interference. Next, let's look at RS-485. It has standard 4-pin and 2-pin configurations. The transmission distance is up to 1200 meters, and the transmission rate can reach 10 megabits per second. In addition, networking is convenient, and the anti-interference capability is provided. However, the distance is large, and resistance must be matched at a high rate. Then we turn to RS-422, which has a standard 4-pin configuration. It is similar to RS-485, 1200 meters transmission distance, and 10 megabit per second rate. Besides, networking is convenient, and the anti-interference capability is provided. But the distance is large, and resistance must be matched at a high rate. Finally, we can see FE. It's a standard 8 pin, 100 meter transmission distance, and 100 megabit per second rate. It has some advantages. The transmission rate is high and it is efficient. Moreover, flexible networking is provided. However, the networking cost is high. At the bottom of the slide, we see some different interfaces. Here, we can see DB9, DB25, Crimp Terminal, RJ45, and RJ12. DB9 is a serial port with 9 pins. DB25 is a parallel interface with 25 pins. Different pins have different meanings. Crimp terminal is a connector for electrical connection. The RJ45 interface is usually used for data transmission, with the most common application being the network card interface. RJ12 is mainly used for telephone lines. So here are some transmission modes and different interface forms. That's all for this section. Thanks for watching.